Oh, you're right there. Oh. 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 Oh, God. Greetings. My name is Professor Edward Edwards, but you can call me Ed. I'm here today to answer three questions about sex. Question number one. How does a person lose their virginity? Question number two. Does Spanish fly really exist? Question number three. Is there sex after death? Question number one. How does a person lose their virginity? Let us begin by discussing virginity. Virginity is the state of a person who has never engaged in sexual intercourse. Heterosexual individuals may or may not consider loss of virginity to occur only through penile vaginal penetration, while people of other sexual orientations often include oral sex, anal sex, or mutual masturbation in their definitions of losing one's virginity. I must confess I once met a non-Christian boy and fell in love with him. As our passions grew our physical relationship progressed. He agreed with me that I needed to remain a virgin until marriage. We debated the definition of virginity and he proposed that I would have officially lost my virginity when we had performed vaginal intercourse in the missionary position with internal ejaculation. Everything else was to be considered just sex and steps towards the ultimate goal. Then, I told him that oral sex was dirty and I would not be a party to it. To compromise, I allowed him to tease my nipples and clitoris with his lips and fingertips, respectively. However, his orgasmic requirements soon became obvious and so I began to jack him off. But, I retained my virginity. A while later, we experimented with his rubbing the tip of his penis onto my vaginal lips and eventually I let him stick the head in. Mark this. His penis did not enter my vagina. Although his middle finger explored freely with impunity. But, I retained my virginity. After performing a dynamic oil massage upon my posterior, with me face down on the bed, he plunged his lubricated penis into my anus and poured his seed into my empty vessel. But, I retained my virginity. One evening in bed, he drove the head and shaft of his penis inside my vagina to its fullest extent. We enjoyed rhythmic coitus for a while and employed coitus interruptus at the end. But, I retained my virginity. After the birth of my first child, I allowed him to visit her once and then broke up with him. We never did it in the missionary position with ejaculation. We did have a lot of sex. But, I retained my virginity. I'm a good girl. Question number two. Does Spanish fly really exist? Spanish fly is an emerald green beetle in the blister beetle family. The insect is the source of a toxic blistering agent once used as an aphrodisiac. Historically speaking, a roofie is a roofie. While visiting the beach, my friend and I engaged four prostitutes. Only four. We did not wish to appear ostentatious. At our chateau, my friend and I supplied the lovely ladies with baths, fresh clothing, and plenty of wine. We secreted the Spanish fly into the chocolates we served them. We dined and danced. We kissed and petted. We penetrated and were penetrated. We were all having a grand time. Until one of the prostitutes threw up her lobster dinner onto my chest. Another had cramps so bad she almost died. The remaining two felt merely nauseous. But then they had not gorged themselves on chocolates as had the other two. But nobody died, and we had all had a wonderful time together. The prostitutes pressed charges. We fled to Italy. The courts sentenced us to death in absentia for the poisoning and for the sodomy of all things question number three is there sex after death finally the ultimate question has been asked 
Is There Sex After Death, was both the title and the question posed in a 1971 mockumentary and Mondo film in which a sex investigator interviews noted personalities in the world of sex. According to the movie, the answer to the title question is. No sex. Only affection. You have not had sex until you have had sex on a slab of marble in a dark and stormy graveyard. I have a special relationship with the dead. I know there is sex after death. The dead tell me. We cannot see them, but the spirits of the dead are licking, sucking, and screwing, all the time in every mausoleum and cemetery in the world. You know that ectoplasm stuff? It's ejaculate. So, that's why I have sex in graveyards. I feel I am communing with the dead. Not just the guy who has his penis inside me. Sometimes after midnight. I walk through the cemeteries naked and alone. I lie down on the cold marble and pray for the dead to seduce me. Someday, I hope that will happen. If not, then I will happily wait until my own body lies rotting in the grave. So at night, I can frolic and fuck with the dead. So, have we answered these questions? How does a person lose their virginity? That depends on your point of view and your rationalizations. Does Spanish fly really exist? Yes but it is deadly and not an aphrodisiac. Roofies are for goofies. Is there sex after death? No.